Restart required? What? Why do I need to restart the... Oh. <clears throat> Today I'm going to show you guys how to update your BIOS and how to install your Windows 10. What's up, y'all? Showing you guys how to... How to update your BIOS and how to install or clean install your Windows 10. So that means if you're doing it for the first time, that's fine. If you're uh, cleaning up your computer, say you have too many files or it's just slowing down and you want to have like that fresh, new, clean slate kind of status to it, you will need a couple things. Uh, USB drives. You won't need two. I just have two because I'm too lazy to uh, run back and forth to the computer to delete the first one then install the second one. Again, you don't need two, you just need one. If you were willing to do all that work, I'm not, I'm just, I'm, I'm being lazy. I try to have eight gigabytes. If you do wanna uh, clean install your, you know, Windows 10, then be sure to back it up with a hard drive, like me, right here. I have a Toshiba, Toshiba, one terabyte hard drive. Came like this, should come, should already come with a USB uh, adapter. First things first, we need to download the thing from the website, the thing from the website. We need to download the BIOS files as well as create our media installation, okay? So which, whichever one you do first, it won't matter. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my first thumb drive. So yeah, as you can see here, it already has stuff on it. For the sake of our time here, we're just gonna format it now. So to do that, you would just right click on the drive and hit format, okay? So right now that is the capacity, you want to keep it the file system of FAT32 default. Uh, basically don't mess with anything else. Uh, if you want to put a name on it, you can. That is up to you. Okay, quick format. I'm gonna start again. It's gonna give you a warning. Hit OK. So if you did have anything in, the, in your hard thumb drive, be sure to back it up first before you format it. Okay, so the formatting is not complete. First, we're gonna do the BIOS update. And to do that, you're gonna search up your manufacturer of the uh, motherboard that you had. For me, it was the ASRock AB350 Pro 4. So I'm gonna go to the website. Uh, we're gonna go down and find our products. Again, AB350 Pro 4, right here. Head on over to the support page. Go for the BIOS tab. All right, and here you can, you'll see all the different uh, BIOS versions. The application is called CPUZ if you want to look it up. It's a monitoring software to keep your system in check if you ever want to see how it's performing. All right, but we're going to head on over to the main board and here as you can see I have version P.460 and if you look at our website here my motherboard has 4.6 and since we want to update it to the latest one we're going to head on over to 5.0 we're gonna hit global. You can look for your drive that you have. Okay, you're gonna save it there. Just gonna save it as a zip file. You're gonna extract that zip file. Okay, so it should now have extracted here. There we go. That's basically it. That's how you download your BIOS file. Okay, so once we do uh, get to the BIOS update later on, all you have to do is plug it back in. Then as it says here, just either go into the Instant Flash uh, tab or you can hit F6 once you get to the uh, boot option. Now I'm going to show you guys how to create a media installation of your USB. But first, let me uh, remove this other drive just in case. There we go. Head on over to Microsoft Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. That's the image file, right, which one? Right here, okay. Hit Windows 10. All right, so now, now you're gonna get onto this page. If you want me to show you, I will post the link below so you guys can easily find it. But anyways, here you'll see the download tool now. For self, you might wanna install your USB drive. Like last time with the BIOS one, just hit format, same thing. Same one, don't mess with anything. Again, if you want to put a label on it, that's up to you. Hit start. It's gonna give you a warning and just hit okay. All right, format complete. There we go. 
and now we're gonna head on and click download tool you're gonna look for your win uh your thumb drive and hit save there we go now we've come up to our installer here casually skim through terms here hit accept all right casually waiting you know we are not gonna upgrade this PC, so do, do not choose that. Right over here, select your language, English, your edition, Windows 10, and your architecture is 64 bit, unless your computer says otherwise. If you wanna find out what that is, go to system, go about, and you will see a basic uh, status of your computer. And your edition, Windows 10 Pro. Okie doke. You can hit next. You are gonna hit. I uh, we're gonna create a USB flash drive unless you're actually gonna use one of those circling around things. Where I don't even know what people call them anymore. DVDs. You're gonna look for the only one that should be up there. It's gonna take a while. I don't know how long it is. Again, I for, I've forgotten. Probably between 15, maybe an hour. I'm not sure. But now that we've done that, we can go ahead and click finish. If you're installing Windows 10 for the first time, you can go ahead and skip this part. But if you're cleaning up your computer then make sure to you know back it up since my computer is fairly new i haven't had any pretty important stuff anyway now my process will be relatively faster but for you guys who have uh, had you know important documents files whatever you've had be sure to back it up if you're gonna need it make sure to actually inject our hard drive here toshiba i'm just gonna quickly go through this and move all of my stuff uh, I'll see you on the flip side, okay? Our order actually matters here and we want to update our BIOS first before we install Windows 10. I'm gonna say goodbye to this thing one more time. It's been fun while it lasted. We're gonna plug in our USB drive. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and boot into the BIOS. We are now into the UFAI. It does list our version, which we do have to be 4.6. You want to make sure that you load it to the optimized default. Basically, you want to reset the BIOS settings here. Because say uh, if you had overclocked your CPU beforehand, before you did a BIOS update, uh, that is a risky action there because overclocking, as we all know, can cause uh, your computer to hang or to crash or whatever sort of stuff. So if you were to have done the BIOS update while your thing was overclocked, and if it were to hang, you know, that's another good example of how you break your motherboard. Now we want to head on over to tool here, tool tab, which will show us flash option, okay, or the BIOS update, whatever you want to call it. Hit instant flash and our thing shall pop up. When you do this, you want to make sure that there's power going through the computer while this is happening because if your computer were to shut down or die or something happened to it, you will more than likely brick your motherboard. In other words, you're going to kill it. Bada boom, bada bang. Okay, so just make sure that your environment is secure before you do all this. It's going to take around 5 to 10, 15 minutes, the whole thing. So it should be relatively fast, but again, you just want to make sure. All right, so now click on it. You want to hit yes. It's going to go ahead and do its thing all right there we go we are done press enter to reboot the system hit the delete key to get into the bios just like that and as you can see our thing has now been updated it is now ab350 pro 4 p5.0 switch on over to our windows installation here you want to head on over to your boot option okay and you want to override your boots into the disk that we have so i'm gonna use this one okay save changes okay all right so uh, okay just like last time when we created our media installation you want to select your language english your time and currency format english us for me hit next you're gonna hit install now. Uh, if your preview, if you've already had a product key, you don't need to put a product key up here uh, because the window will automatically detect it. Detect it. You just have to hit. I don't have a product key. Or if you're doing this for the first time and you have a product key, type it in. If you don't have a product key, hit. I don't have a product key anyway, because you can 
uh, run Windows without a product key. You want to select your operating system. I have Windows 10 Pro, so I'm going to hit on that. Accept the license term, casually skim through it like a man. Hit next. Okay, uh, you want to hit custom. So we now get to this part here. Again, if you're completely cleaning up your computer, then just go ahead and delete all of them. If you're doing this for the first time anyway, you won't, you won't see one. I mean, you won't see any of these. You'll only see one anyways. And that should be the hard drive that you have installed if you have one or if you have two. So just one by one, we're going to delete. Drive one is my actual uh, one terabyte storage and drive zero is my SSD. All right, so I'm going to choose my SSD because that's where I want to install it. So we're going to choose that one and it will proceed on installing Windows. OK, so this is going to take a while and I'm going to fast forward it. If you get to this point of the uh, installation where it resets you back into square one, don't panic. You did nothing wrong. This is because we have, you know, set when we, f if you recall it, we set the uh, boot drive to the USB that we have here. So in order to complete the process, we have to boot back into our original hard drive or SSD or whatever we, you plan to use. Shut down the computer. Head on over to boot. Change it, your boot option number one, priority into your hard drive. I have the SSD here. Exit, save changes, and bam. It will now reboot back. Welcome to part two. As you notice there, it did reboot back once, don't worry. It will do that. It may or may not reboot once or twice, or it may not reboot at all. So completely normal here. Uh, we're gonna start with our region. Uh, mine is United States. Uh, again, keyboard layout, US, hit yes for me. No, I do not want to add a second keyboard. Okay, how would you like to set up? I would like to set up for your personal use. Uh, if you already have an account, put it in. If you don't have an account, use the hit the create account button. Okay, once you've done that process, you can go ahead and create a pin if you would like to. All right, link your phone and PC if you would like to. Uh, OneDrive, again, it's up to you. I'm gonna hit next. Uh, I'm gonna hit no. Uh, for this one, I'm, I always turn off everything just to make my life simple. How ironic. <laughs> once you've reached that high pop-up right there, it means you've done everything correctly, smoothly anyways. And that should do it for our thing here. Good job. You've done it, guys. Feel free to do whatever you wish with your computer here. Welcome back, guys. Good job. That's all I can say. If you follow the video accordingly, uh, everything should have went by smoothly. If it didn't, if you encountered any problem, leave it down below. I will try to address it to the best of my ability. And if I can't help you out, there's always Google. But I will still help you out, okay? Um, if you were installing Windows 10 for the first time and you want to keep your system up to date per se, then uh, follow my previous video. It's known as PC Building 101. It includes driver's installation as well as updating your Windows because your system can be faster. You just need to do some more actions. Hey, do what you gotta do. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, concerns, compliments, feedback, positive or negative, leave them down below. I will appreciate them. Give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it. If you didn't like it. If you did like it, thumbs down if you didn't like it. Subscribe if you want to see more. It's all up to you, my man. Stay safe. Don't break a leg. And ciao. Bye-bye.